The Kansas Jayhawks football team will open its season tomorrow at Children's Mercy Park. Kind of a weird look, but KU's Memorial Stadium is closed for renovations right now. Fox Sports' Dave DeMarco is live at Sporting KC's home with what it takes to turn a football pitch into a football field. Hey, Dave. Yeah, and thankfully the field dimensions are pretty similar. You know, we've seen it the other way around with soccer matches out at Arrowhead this summer. But now KU preparing for what they call an intimate football setting. Field crews were hard at work Wednesday at Children's Mercy Park. Storms delayed Tuesday night's U.S. Open Cup match, which meant a long night, but still an early morning as they worked to get the field ready for KU football versus Lindenwood. Yeah logos and paint going down for football. We'll have goal posts going up here in a few minutes. Uh, we've got field goal nets. All the all the bones of a football game are starting to happen right here. And uh, you know, by the end of the night, we'll be ready to go and play football for Thursday. After tomorrow, they'll get the field ready for soccer again in the U.S. men's national team before KU hosts UNLV at the soccer stadium again in two weeks. Then as conference play begins on September 28th, they leave the 20,000 seat stadium for up to 70,000 fans at Arrowhead. Plans are in place to bus students who pre-registered before spots were all reserved to the game. Tailgates with free food for students are also planned. We think it's going to be a great environment out there, and we think we've got a, a team that's going to have earned the kind of crowd that we fully expect. So kickoff set for 7 o'clock out here tomorrow night. Now I mentioned those storm delays last night for the soccer match. I know no one wants a repeat of that. Joe Loria has got your game day forecast, so Joe, should I be packing that rain jacket? 